Alright folks, Pitcher Games 88, we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We're in Dark Ages, heading on to the final boss battle, Night 20. A question for you, my ignoble foes. Hast thou noted how violent thy plants become upon consuming plant food? Perchance hast thou wondered what plant food is truly made of? Verily, I shall tell thee, it's a zombies. Plant food is made out of zombies. Unpossible, we feed our plants only the highest quality organic, um, hey Penny, what is plant food made of? I fear the true nature of plant food requires further analysis, user Dave. Excuse me while I run some tests. All right, folks, so for the final battle, he basically has his three stages. His three stages you're going to want to make sure you're definitely prepared for. You don't. I don't find him to be too difficult, especially if you just, again, wait. This, this is going to be patience for most of you guys, and that is make sure that you get a Bloom Shroom and get one in every single row. You get one in every single row, you're basically going to be able to protect against any jesters and again jesters are going to be your main problem here uh, there's nothing more that's really going to be problematic so as you see a jester up there in that top row just stop him you know it's really easy great thing about the magnet shroom is it's always boosted and it will actually pull the nose ring from the dragon so it actually does damage to him that's pretty awesome i don't know uh I don't know why they decided to do that, but it does help out quite a bit, especially since you are going to have quite a few bucket heads. Uh, when you get a chance, put all your peanuts kind of as close to the front as possible because you really can't do any damage to the to the dragon until you've actually gotten rid of all of the grave stones. Now, he will shoot fire, and he will take out tiles. When he takes out tiles, you cannot replant on them right away. You actually have to wait. It can be a problem. It's frustrating, I know, but it is something that you have to end up doing. Now, because we're getting so much plant food here in the beginning, definitely use the flume shroom to kind of take out the jester. When you get a chance, focus on the jesters. Honestly, you're going to end up getting enough magnet shrooms to where you will be able to kind of take out all the bucket heads. He does do this opportunity where he will actually destroy the whole rows, just like any other ones. Um, you can stop him if you do it, if you time it right. I find the timing to be a little bit more difficult than all the other ones because when he does this right here where his his goes up, he doesn't actually, he doesn't actually blow, he just throws a little bomb so you don't want to be wasting plant foods when he's just doing that but sometimes when he does do that he does end up uh, you know getting rid of two rows and you can't really do anything about him so it's one of those things where you have to really kind of monitor him a little bit uh, second second stage you know the second little middle thing you're gonna have a lot of wizards so luckily right now we have we've saved up so much plant food we can easily just take out the wizard one-on-one -on -one, you know focus on him he charged up, again, focus on the wizard, wasn't really able to take him out. What you can do, though, is you can focus on putting all of your little pea shooters at the very, very front. Um, it doesn't do much damage to him, but it does do some over the course of time. And the great thing about doing that is that when he blows fire, he doesn't actually destroy them. So they're basically just kind of a, a constant damage on him, even though, again, it's super super short it doesn't do a whole lot it still does enough damage to where if you keep planting them you always have someone up in that very front row it will distract him enough now again you'll notice that again we have four plant foods we've been saving them up saving them up is very crucial very key definitely something that we definitely want to do uh, you can definitely take away the magnet shrooms uh, and basically force them to kind of give you more back but uh, either way, you know, when you get rid of the magnet shrooms, another one will eventually appear. 
you put it up basically takes away all the helmets makes all the zombies super super simple makes them just like regular ones you put a couple of flume shrooms and they'll take these guys out in seconds so your peanuts should never really have too much of a problem uh, you are gonna have a gargantuans occasionally come up so make sure that you save at least two in the middle stages to get rid of the gargantuans uh, he'll keep throwing out gargantuans unless you actually beat the second like little stage so really focus a lot of your efforts on taking him to his last and final stage uh, you'll notice that in his last and final stage he doesn't actually send out gargantuans he basically sends out a whole bunch of wizards and he blows a lot of fire so at this point again if you're able to get the gargantuan you still have a couple plant foods left you should be doing fine now with all these wizards again definitely use the flume shroom power basically got rid of three of them in a row we weren't really going to be able to do it any other way again right there we were actually able to do it in time so we saved our very final row but we didn't save that row again little things that you can do i found in i found in this one i've, I've did this quite a few but this is the one i recorded this one is basically how most of mine go it's not always you know the quickest the easiest but right there I felt like he was gonna blow so I decided to throw down the magnet shroom basically did a whole bunch of damage to him um, and interrupted him from actually blowing fire which is what you really want to have happen with the dragon um, and as you'll notice again we he's almost done and right there we want to get rid of the wizards. So let's get rid of the wizards. We are basically good to go. And that's that's it. That's night 20. Not too difficult, but you need to definitely get the beginning done uh, set up. I have found no evidence that plant food contains zombies or zombie byproducts. Phew! Plants shouldn't need zombies to eat plants. Well, except Chomper. He has the, he has to. Dude needs the fiber. Why does thine time traveling jalopy lie to thee? Perchance a question best left for another day. Now I pray, imagine maniacal laughter as I depart. And that, my friends, is going to be the end of Dark Ages. I hope you guys all stay tuned to Big Wave Beach. Can't wait to see you guys over there. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.